Hey, Aquaha Boy Rocks. It's New Year's, so it's time for a channel update. I filmed one out west uh, February, March of last year and told you I was going to probably be scaling back the videos, and I have. So, a little bit about that. Um, I have gone back to school again. I've been seeming to do that every few years, so basically the time that I was spending editing videos in the evening is spent writing papers and doing research for school. So kind of in a way worked out nice because I already had that time kind of set aside in my routine. So instead of coming out here and doing this and editing videos, I'm doing that. So a few of you have asked, you know, was everything good? All everything okay? Well, that's um, the primary thing. Um, I'm in my mid 40s, so the people that are older than me are getting older. So that takes a good bit of my time too. So, you know, got the family cycle life stuff going on there. So those are kind of the two major things that have taken away from the channel. But don't lose heart. I have been trying to post some new videos lately. Uh, as I've said, about 14 times I've teased you with the fact that I have lots of content already videoed. I have, I don't know, still probably a dozen or more locations from out west videoed. And I have two new trips planned. So I will be taking advantage of this book coming up in the pretty near future. So I've got, got that trip I'm going on and I booked me a plane ticket back to Central Oregon where so much of this fun stuff comes from. So that's what's going on. I did not a lot of YouTubing, but I'm still coming out here and having fun with my rocks when I can and still using my vacation time for that. Because even though I'm busy, got to get away and have some recharge time. So the other half of this video, I got myself a Black Friday present. Got the little UV beast. I've said in some of my other videos, I'm not really into the UV thing. Even the reflected light bothers my eyes, so you know, I need to get me some glasses. But I've just been using this very sparingly. But I am going to turn off all the light and we're going to kind of just take a walk around the shop and see what I have that might be UV reactive. I know a couple of things, but I don't really know. So let me turn out the sun. All right, now that the sun's out, let's turn these lights off. All right, let's see what we can find with the little mini UV beast here in the shop that's UV reactive. Okay, here's one of my little displays of rough slabs. There's maybe a little bit in that piece of petrified wood there. Ooh, that piece of calcite does nice. I can't even remember what this is, but that shows up nice. Hmm, maybe a little around the edges in that petrified, or not petrified, agatized coral from Florida. Ooh, I don't know. Can't even remember what thunder egg that is, but that shows up well. little bit in that Brazilian agate. That thunder egg. That's a good one. Ooh, maybe a little bit in that lace.
Okay, so we got a good piece of calcite there and a good thunder egg over here. Now some stuff just around the, on the bench here. I had to move this one out of the way to open that case. That is a white fur agate bed slice. So that's got a little bit. Nothing too much going on back there. Let's see, I hadn't tried one of these. Okay, so I think what you're seeing there, something in my shop gives all these little specks. And I think that is from the kitty litter. Get little red and blue specks everywhere. Let's try this one, also from Fallen Tree, and yeah, just whatever is in the shop that causes that contamination glow. Oh, it's all over that one. That one might be... There might be some kind of fungi growing on that that's causing that, but that looks, that looks pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to see all of that on the outside of that egg. Okay, well that's the highlight of the evening so far. Over here I've got one I know is going to show up. This is a turkey tail from the Hauser area. It's got some, I believe, calcite crystals there. And that just glows really good. And again, it's got all those little sparkles that come from whatever is contaminating it here in my shop. I love how the crystals and the agate show up different colors. So over here is another one of my thunder egg displays. So we're just looking to see and we've got a little bit there in that lucky strike. Now the back of this thing is mirrored, so I'm trying not to hit myself with the UV. Wow, that dugway, that dugway does really nice. And I think that's a lucky strike back there. Can't remember which one that is, but that's glowing nice. It's another dugway. Ooh, look at this one. All those little wormy pieces of agate going good. Got a little bit there. That one shows up good. Got some good ones up there. Good. Oh, there's some good green. Lots of good green in these thunder eggs. Not so much in that one. Okay, so this is a core from China I've showed you before. That's glowing good. That'd be really glow good cut, but I'm not gonna cut it. Okay, that's that for that display.
All right, I've got some more random cut eggs here. I'm going to pull some of them out. So we'll be right back and look at them. Now I've got some greens still in the box. What do we have here? Just around the edges of that one. Not too much going on there. Okay, not too much there. Okay, I pulled out some random slabs and eggs and things here. There's a dugway. It's got a little bit around the edges. That's really all the agate it's got. And these are rabbit springs. They are known for this, and there's a little bit in that one Get over here. Oh, that one shows up pretty well. A little bit faint in that one and that one. That's that 79 bed egg I just cut. Pretty much nothing going on there. Check out these slabs. Not too much. Skull springs, nope. That egg, wherever it's from. Oh, wow. That one does good. Oh, got a little monster face. Maybe a little bit there. Another good one in that egg. Nothing in the dino bone. All right. So I had a fair amount. All right. Hope you enjoyed walking around the shop with me for my first little walk around with the black light. I didn't know that that many of the thunder eggs were going to be uv reactive so that was kind of a cool little experiment so glad you're still here watching my videos even though i slowed down a little bit and i wish everyone a great year coming up and i will see you soon